Aspire has a capability of doing a doing profit center accounting. So basically what happens is you've got one part number that sometimes you want posted to one profit center and sometimes another using the same code and you want to be able to change that at the invoice level. So first of all, just to look at the general ledger, we've got a couple of sales accounts called labor service and labor production. Okay, so and then we've set up an allocation account. So we'll go into edit company settings, general ledger, allocations, and we have we, we, we created a, a segment, actually first of all in segments, we've got another se a segment called profit center, but yet we don't have any GL accounts set up using that third segment, just uh, the second segment for our location accounting. Uh, and then under codes, we switch to profit center, we've set up production and service just as names. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so then we've set up an allocation account does use that segment but doesn't exist as a true account it's like a pseudo account that whenever we post to four two zero 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 um slash slash prod it's going to post to 100 percent of it to the four two ten which is our production labor account so if we use that account it redirects it to that account okay so now we have that set up and we've also defined that our profit center um, segment is called profit center. So we've chosen profit center as our profit center. Okay, so the way that now gets redirected from sales, if I add a new sales order and I put a part number labor on here, and if we look at the sales department for labor, it's in sales department number 199. And if we look at the back to company settings for a moment, and we look at sales department 199, it's just been told to, under normal circumstances, to post to 42000. So if we just, if we don't change our profit center, it's just gonna post to 42000. Okay, so now that we've set it all up, we're going to start a sales order and we're going to put a customer on it and we'll add our labor item that we created okay and we got the hundred dollars of labor here and we look over to the far right we see that it's going to account four two zero 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 but we would like this to get posted to our production labor instead of our service labor so by choosing a profit center of production, it's going to redirect. So we've got, we go back to the general ledger for a moment. We'll see we've got those two labor GL accounts set up uh, for production and service. So we bring back our sales order and we are going to invoice this now. And we'll just uh, preview it. It prints off an invoice like normal. Then when we go to the sales history, and we go to the top invoice that we just posted and we look at it and we go view transaction. Notice that it got posted to that production labor account instead of our regular labor account. And if we do another one just like it, so let's just actually just copy this. And this time around we'll take, make no change. This service one doesn't really have to be here. It's somewhat redundant, but just so, uh, because we don't have a redirector on the service, but just so you can see either way. Um, so some people don't want to leave no change on. They want to make sure that it has something set there, but I can either go no change or service. So we'll just choose service and we'll just invoice this one more time on account and we won't print it this time. And then we'll go to sales history again, refresh this list. And we have, so we have a second invoice. And if we go into this one and we look at the transaction, it now shows labor service. So choosing the same part number, we're able to post to a different profit center, therefore general ledger account.